Hi everyone, it's Rachel here and we are up to day 84. Can you believe that? Of the 100 day project. And I'm pretty sure today's request was another one from Sammy Jared. Um, let me just double check. Um, I, I wrote down a few, but I've skipped. Um, I've skipped over um, because I'm not prepared for the other ones and I'm doing this one. Here we go. Oh, no. Um, I'm pretty sure it was Sammy anyway. Um, so it's uh, Gail's faux front envelopes. So I... I had watched those videos, but I hadn't been paying attention. So I've just re-watched the video from 2019. But I think it's one of Gail's later videos for the faux front envelope. I need to give this mat a good old wipe, I think. I don't think this is wet anymore. No, of course, because it's so um, warm now that things dry very quickly. So I, I have an envelope here somewhere that I pulled out. I've taken notes because they're... they're I had to remember how to do it. Okay, so I put my notes over there. I've got my envelope here. Now, Gail uh, stenciled hers. I'm not going to do that. I'm going to collage mine. Um, or collage, put a piece of paper on. And um, and then I've got, I thought it might be a good opportunity to use up some of these uh, scraps. So what I'm going to do before I decide on any sort of style or anything like that, I'm going to see what what do I have that's big enough to do this project that you know to do, cover the front. That's what I need to cover the front. So I'm going to pull out a few uh, papers. I nearly said fabrics. I've got fabrics on the brain. Um, although I could mix and match papers as well because um, I've, I've got a lot of Stamperia, I've got a lot of Tim Holtz, and they do. They can uh, coordinate. So let's just have, you just bear with me one second and I'll, I'll get my horses together and I will figure it out and I'll get going. So I hope everybody had a lovely weekend. We had a lovely weekend and um, as you know, I pre-recorded my video because I was out all day yesterday. Um, and, um, and so I had to pre-record. I'm just pulling out so that way you know me I like I like to have choices a good way to use up these scraps Gail used a um, new uh, piece of paper but she because she had a, a um, paper pad that um, she hasn't used very much and so she used that but I don't I, I don't want to I've got all these scraps so I don't want to get into a new paper pad if you know what I mean, because I like to use those for my anchor pages for journals, and then I have all these strips left. I mean, look, I'm pulling out enough to make 50 envelopes. Of course I am. But we need options. This is how it is. We just need to have options. Options are a necessity. Okay, that's it. I won't pull out any more. And the thing is, like you do these projects, don't even make a dent in what in your stash. Don't even make a dent in it. So that's not going to be big enough. And that's actually, that's got a direction. So that's a reject. This, for example, could go like that. See, what Gail did, and if, if I were to have one that was big enough, I would do that. But I don't think, like I would use this one, but that's not big enough. So Gail basically cut a piece of um, cardstock that was the same uh, size as the front of her envelope. This is obviously, you can see it's a little bit short, so I can't use that. Um, I think all of my pieces are gonna be a little bit small. So I need to join them together. See that's, oh no, that one, I oh, see that one would work. That one would work. Well, why don't I use that one? See, that's that's exactly the right size. Look at that. So I'm going to grab my pencil and just put a marker there and trim that off. Cutter. So you get your cardstock and you cut it down to the front, uh, to the same size as the front of your envelope. And thank you for asking me to do this because I've been wanting to do it for a very long time. 
and I and I haven't done it yet. Okay, and then what Gail did was she cut this, but she didn't. I didn't. She didn't cut it in half. She cut it about. It appeared to me two thirds, which is why I thought I could use. I could have used this piece here, and then another coordinating piece on the side. And but I would have had to measure two. But if we have time, maybe we'll do one that way as well, just so we can see. So I'm just randomly going to trim this. Um, maybe I'll make this one four inches. I think my envelope is probably six inches. Let's see how big this piece is that's left. No, it's seven inches because that's four plus three is seven. Okay, so that's what Gail did. And then she um, she had stenciled here. So then um, she hinged these pages on. It's going to have to go that way just a minute. Oh, no, it's not meant to be like that because that's the right way. And that one looks like it's upside down. But anyway, that's how the paper's printed. Okay, it's not me. Right, so um, what Gail did was she stenciled in here. I'm not going to do that. I'm going to actually be sticking a piece of paper over there. So um, I'm going to hinge these first because Gail had um, tea dyed paper. And I'm going to use paper. I usually use fabric, but in this case I'm going to use paper. Although you could have fabric and you could have it go around the back. But I'm not quite sure what Gail did with the envelope. Um, in the journals. I'm not sure, Gail. I didn't get that far. So um, I'm actually going to hinge them with uh, just some paper and, um, and, and I'm going to stick them down first and then I'll stick my other piece of paper over the top. That's what's going to happen. That is how it's going to be. So I need to get some tea dyed paper. That would be helpful. I'm going to tidy up a little bit in here today because that's cardstock. I need paper. Oh, oh that's well. That uh, we'll use this one. Oh, I might have some small bits in my little thing here. Just a minute. You never know. Let's have a look. No, that's cardstock. Yes, I need to tidy. Maybe I can use that one for sure. Um, I need to tidy up in here. It's a, it's a, it's really a mess. This is what happens with the 100 day project. Things start to get out of control. That's actually old book page. That's probably not the best idea because it's probably fragile, a bit more fragile. But I've got these. They're not very wide, but I think I'll make do with them because I'll just use up these scraps. Yeah, I, with the 100 day project, things start to get out of hand after a while. And um, I'll do my best measuring. And my best measuring is eyeballing it. It's my best effort. My best foot forward is eyeballing it. Okay. Last year it was like this too. I just had, I just was in such a mess by the end of it. I mean, that's going to be very narrow, but I'll make it work. That, so that's going to stick down there. But first I'll stick it to this, and then we'll do this one. So it's going to be a bit wide. Actually, I might keep that one for across there. Because something else is going to be hinged there. So why don't we put a little marking. And we need to find another piece. Because that's a good length. Trim that off, and... Were there any more? I don't think there were. So, just have another little look in here. Cardstock. Wouldn't you know, right when you need it, it's all cardstock. And I don't want cardstock because that's too bulky. Oh, here we go. This piece will do. Oh, actually, that piece is white. That's not, that's a scanned one. We don't want it to be white on the other side because you'll be able to see it. That's not long enough. Cardstock. So how is everybody today? Did you have a good weekend? Did you get any crafting done? I only on Saturday I did, but not on Sunday. Um, here we go. Found a piece. Using up my scraps. Trim that off. 
I don't think I'm going to be using the sewing machine, so I do want to. Oops, crooked. I do want to glue them down properly. So, okay, so I've got my glue book here. Now, I'm going to use my good glue. Put glue everywhere. And that, you need to think about it, so that's going to be like that. So that goes on there. That goes there. Glue down. And then we've got some glue on here. I want any chunks it's because it's so hot the glue's soft and you want to line it up as best you can with the edge of your envelope that there hopefully that's going to be work that's going to be work that's going to work excuse me maybe I'll put the glue all over this one doing it so narrow okay so that one has to go you have to think about which way because that's going to stick there and that's going to stick there so you need to think about where does my hinge go which direction otherwise you won't be sticking this bit on your piece of work because you stuck the hinge on the wrong way it has to go on the other side okay And I always think if I make a mistake, I'm just showing you what not to do. All right, they don't. Now, why is that happening? Because I want to open. How'd you do that, Gail? Oh, I didn't put it right to the edge. That's what my problem is my fold okay so I need to rethink my fold messy crafter I am that's it okay and that one opens okay I've got a tiny gap there Gal Gal's was more perfect than mine she didn't have any gaps but I have a gap. Okay, and then I need to, I already trimmed that one down. I might trim it down just a teeny tiny bit more. I don't want it crashing into my, I'm actually going to, I know Gail didn't do this, but I'm actually gonna glue this one on because I need, I wanna cover it with my paper that I decide to put down here. And so I want this one to be glued on already. I'm gonna get rid of that sticky piece of paper. I'm in my craft room before lunch today because um, the sun comes in here and then it's just way too hot to stay in here. Way too hot. It's just like suffering. Can't wait to get out. The air con I haven't got the air conditioning on at the moment because I've got, I'm just, oh gosh, I didn't even see which way was the up. Oh, thank heavens for that. Well, I guess it doesn't really matter because you could trim it. Um... I haven't got the air conditioning on at the moment because I'm drying stuff and it makes my, my electricity doesn't like both. So um, I'm just going to glue that down like that for the moment. I won't worry about my fold until I've glued my other paper down. Okay, so I'm just going to have a sip of coffee. That might help. Mmm. But if I were to put this paper there, um, I won't want to cover it, will I? Well, I'm going to put a planer paper on the back. That's what I'm going to do. I've still got these papers flying around. So let's, um, I need to trim this. I'll just trim off. I might use that side. No, I think I'll use that side. So trim this off. Put my marking 
because I want it to be plain and then I'm going to have a decorative pocket on it. So I'm not like 100% covering up my envelope in the sense that you can see little bits of it peeking out, but they're pretty nice envelopes, so kind of like parchment envelopes, so I like them. I'm going to put that inside. So let's glue that down. We need the cutter quite a bit for this project, and I'm not using the sewing machine. Although you could, I'm not going to today. Very cool idea, Gail. Very cool. It's taken me such a long time to do them. I mean, they, the videos came out more than a year ago. Of course, I'm sticking it on upside down, aren't I? Good one. down reasonably straight okay that closes that closes yes I like that combination so that's going to go there this needs to fold like so right now, or I can have a pocket, that's not going to be long enough, I can have um, a pocket going across here and put like a pretty paper there. And that's going to be pretty narrow, isn't it? Or otherwise I can just use a scrapbooking paper. Well, why don't I use a scrapbooking paper? Because the whole thing is I wanted to um, I wanted to use up some of these scraps. But I would be more inclined to put something, no, not that one. That's not too busy. Paper. That one. Nope. That's the same one. I'm just looking. I like this Tim Holtz. Could have a little narrow one. No. It's not purple. scraps oh that could be nice put that one aside Not 
deep enough. That would be almost big enough, that one. I think I preferred the other one. Or, oh, sideways, but who cares? And we've got this, this one would work, but it's not quite, although I could cover that up, couldn't I? I think that one works the best. Or that one. Oh, that one works too. Okay. Right. So if I trim this one down, I want it to be a little pocket about to there, I think. So I'm going to trim that one down and I will fix that bit up there. I'm not worried about that. I'm just going to trim it off. It's going to be my little pocket here. And there I need to trim off here. not look very straight and it wasn't there we go that's better so that's going to glue down there as a pocket and I am going to nip just a tiny bit out of here just a tiny bit okay so let's glue that down and I need my glue where's my glue oh here in front of my face We might only get one made. So there's a lot of faffing about trying to figure it out. So that's that, and I need to fix that bit up there. Do that in a minute. Now I'm going to have a flip down here. And what Gail did, which I really liked, was she had, so for example, that's not big enough, but they kind of met, so I need to measure it. So If I wanted to, I could have something like that. Let me just close it and see. So they all work together. Kind of. That's a bit pinky. More pinky. So maybe we'll go with one of these. Let's see if we've got one. That, oh, see, that one nearly fits. Yep, I think I'll do that one. So I'm going to trim it off. Here and here. That's too much. Okay, let's have a look. Oh, too much. Well, I'll just have it coming down a little bit further there. Okay, so let's glue that on the paper. not going right to the edge because I need to bring my paper down just a little bit okay so that flips up I'm 
Right. And then Gail put a whale tail on. I found all my whale tails. And I also um, figured out how you can make your own. So this is one I've made. So um, shall we have a go? So just say I wanted to use a piece of scrapbooking paper. Just having, oh, wait, where's my folder? Oh, here. Let's just grab one of these that, or well, maybe that one, you see, this is already small. So cut out, I'm gonna cut out a circle. I'll probably make a big mess of it. So I'll tell you what this, what kind of circle this is. This is a two inch circle. Then what I did was I, I cut out a circle from my, don't know what size this one is. Doesn't say it anywhere. Hmm. Should we measure? Oh, I don't have my ruler. I think it might be a one inch. I think it's a one inch circle. Oh yes, there it is, hello. So what I did was, Put your circle on there and I just kind of eyeballed where the center is and I marked here where I sort of lined it up with the edge oh wait just a minute and then I drew oh just a minute my fingers are sticky sorry guys I'll turn it around so line up my markings draw around it Come around on this side. I probably won't work now. I mean, they're not perfect, but they they work. Put that there. Then grab that um, one inch and just sort of, sort of, kind of, line it up on your your line there. And then cut that out. And then I folded it in half. Kind of, it see kind of lines up, not perfect, but almost. And then what I did was I got my scissors and I just cut a straight line there and a straight line there. And then I just curved this a little bit, chopped that corner off, and there's my whale tail. I've done it. I did it. And that is going to glue down on there, like what Gail did. And this is so that's the sort of thing you could just sort of sit and make um you know sitting watching the tv you could just make a whole lot of them because that punch um is not available anymore and if you do find it i think i mentioned it in another video it's very expensive and i do quite like the look of them i could have probably glued that down just a little bit further down like that and then gail Although my glue is probably still growing. She tucks that under there. That's what she did. So that's that. And then we're going to put a whale tail on here. And I might just use one of these ones that I've been sent just to save time. But I did want to know how to make them. Or maybe I'll use this clock one that I made because I quite like that look of that on there. I think I'm going to put that one on there. And that's one of Tracy's clocks. I think that pretty sure that's one of Tracy's clocks that I, I had printed out. So, and I just cut it out with my two inch punch and then I made it into a whale tail. So that's one of Tracy's clocks from Love Junk Journals. So I'm going to put that one on there just because I like the color of it. And I could put it on that side or that side, whichever I like. You can put it in the center. I'm going to put it off center. Okay, so you can see that that opens, you just go like this and it opens. Okay, and now we need to fix this here. We need to put two pockets. So I've still got all of my, well, I've got this. So Gail did a curvy sort of pocket there. I was thinking I might put just some, like a little notepad there it would be nice. So that's what we might do there. And then over here we'll put a pocket, a sideways pocket. I just want to see if I've got any smaller pieces. Because I didn't pull those out. Oh, I do. This this one. That could be nice. That's very small. Although I can keep the blue. It's a very eclectic folder. 
It's very, that would be very eclectic, wouldn't it? Very, a little bit clashy. But I quite like clashy sometimes. Just looking for some narrower bits. You might as well use up the bits while you can. Mm -hmm. I really do like that. I'm going to cut that piece. Right, and I think I'm going to cut it here where the, the pretty decoration is. So I'm going to have it... Hopefully I can see that. I'm going to put this up here and trim that off. Right. So that's going to glue there and that's going to be a side tuck pocket. So I'm going to put a little semicircle in that one. And get my glue and we'll glue that down. So that's glued down, that's a pocket. And then over here, what I don't what I don't like too much is this paper with this paper. It's all like very busy. So what I'm thinking here is I might just collage a bit of something. I won't cover that. I'll leave some of it. I just want to cover a little bit of it because I don't know, it just seems too much to me. I might just grab, for example, I might put, let's just tear this down and see how we like this paper. So first I'll tear it bigger, just to, so I can sort of put it there and see. I kind of prefer that, but I feel like that's even too busy, that one. I need a plainer one. Keep that paper out, keep that paper out. I need that. On that one, and then maybe oh, I think I'll put that down there. So I'm just going to tear this, is a bit of this is actually cardstock. But I really do like the pattern that that one got. And I'm wondering, do I want it there or over there? I think over there. So I'll glue that down. I'm covering up a bit the, the um, scrapbooking paper. See, I would have, I probably would have covered it all up had I not put my whale tail, but I hadn't opened it and thought about it before. I'm going to cover up that little um, tear there with this piece of tea dyed paper. Just rip that over and put that there. That covers up that faux pas. So you can still use it even if it's torn. It's not a problem. You just cover it up like so. So that's that done. I still feel like I need something else there. I'm not going to use that one. It's too busy. Don't need that. Need a bigger piece. Just a minute now. Where is that folder? It's over here with the planes. 
maybe maybe even just a piece of this that the coffee dyeing is done on we'll just tone it down a little bit maybe not then we've oh no I might use that there for my little notepad I'm going to put there No, that's too busy. I'm trying to tone it down. So stop looking at the busy stuff. Yeah, might put that there. So that's that. Oh. Well, what I'll do, I will use my sewing machine once. I did say I wasn't using my sewing machine, but I am using it once because I will um, stitch these pages together. This is going to be my template. And I just need to trim a little bit off the top as well. put a few pages in there nothing too fancy trim this one This one, I will, I'm going to put two of these, so about how wide do I not need them? Oh, I might even be able to put three. Yep, i put three of those in. That one, that one, and I might put this one in as well. I'll just um, trim that edge off. Okay, cool. That's going to be my little notebook. So what I'll do is it just to, oh, well actually I need to order the papers. I don't like the same things being next to each other. I'll put that paper there. This paper, alternate them, that paper and then that paper and then put them upside down. Hold them there and they're still quick stitch across. I might go backwards. Twice. I'll do it twice. I'll go back the other way. Just because I like the look of a few more rows of stitching. So I've got that and then I'm going to just grab a bead of glue. I need to trim it down just a tiny bit. I'm going to grab a bead of glue and just glue it, glue it on. Just trim that off there. And that one. Is that right? You don't want it to interfere with the folding, so that's going to work. Okay, good. So just grab some glue. And there we have a little notepad. Glue that on there being careful not to put it right up to the edge and I might just put a little clip on there I need another one do I have another one floating around have we been here forever guys here's another one so they can stick properly okay good now move all these pieces of paper I'll just 
throw them on the floor as you do. Move these all out of the way. So in hindsight, I might have made this a little bit plainer as well. It's pretty busy. But what I can do maybe to help with that is, uh, st you know, do a bit of decorating here and there, which I think will help. So, for example, I've still got all these flowers left over from the other day. I can do some, I could put a little flower there, maybe. Yeah, I prefer it. I think I prefer it on, well, I like that too. Maybe I'll have two. I don't know. Put that one on there. Oh, I quite like that. I was thinking only one, but maybe two. Um, and then, I don't know, you can do something here to sort of tone it down a little bit, is what I'm thinking. Let's get rid of all my mess. Okay, so you could have... Oh, yeah, I think I'll put that there. So I, you put things down and then you cover them up. That's just the way it is. That's just what happens. You just because then you might you know you you once you get it all together it just needs a little bit of tweaking so my husband has me watching a new series that kept me up quite late last night it's not quite as scary as the other one it's called the woods guys on netflix the woods mysterious thing happened in the woods i'm not going in the woods i'm not going to kuran and i'm not going in the woods at night time I'm not going at the, in the woods at any time, really. So it's called The Woods. It's on Netflix. Um, I think it might be. I don't know. It's They've got names like Polo, pa Powell and Polwolski and things like that. So I'm thinking it's, it's obviously Eastern European program. And um, now I like it more. Um, and it... I might put a butterfly um yeah i've got my butterfly kit here i've still got to make my butterfly ephemera oh gosh i love these i'm gonna do that today i'm gonna to make some butterfly ephemera um it's quite good uh what was i saying yeah so yeah bad things happen in the woods you don't see anything thank heavens and like anything bad happen because otherwise i would be really freaking out um, but it's a mystery. So then they, um, you know, it's years on and then they have to figure out what happened um, in the woods. So, so far, it's pretty good. It's not too bad. It's keeping me entertained. Um, and that's always a good thing because I don't always, you know, find a lot on, on the TV that I like watching. So oh, I do like watching Survivor, but we don't have Survivor on here. I have to watch it on streaming. Um, and the Australian Survivor is really good if you can watch that. They're very, very cheeky, the Australians. Very devious. They don't mind lying to each other. Um, I haven't, well, I'm a bit behind with the American one. I need to catch up on the American Survivor. The first season of the Australian Survivor was shocking. And we were just like, oh, that's an embarrassment. And then they didn't do it for many, many years because it was such a flop. Um, and then they came out again, I don't know when, uh, with season two. And from then on, it's a bit more like the same, similar formula to the US one. Um, and highly enjoyable. So I do enjoy watching that. Um, but Steffi likes watching scare, a lot of scary stuff. And I don't, I don't always want to watch it. And he likes weird stuff. Like, I have the nicest husband, like, he's really gentle and lovely, and he just likes the weirdest stuff on TV. Um, and some of it, I just can't watch it. And I think as I get older, I, even more so, I can't watch it. But this one, I'm quite, yes, it's quite good so far. I hope they don't ruin it with some crappy ending. Um... Yeah, that, that's always a thing. If it doesn't end properly, then it's always a dis... Oh, yeah, look at that. I like the butterfly. The butterfly is really doing it for me. Well, will I put the butterfly there? No, I think I, a little bit there. That's where the butterfly is going. I'm, I'm going to keep you here all day, guys, if you want. You can stay here all day with me and um, muck around.
Except you know what will happen. You know who will say, what's for lunch? That's what will happen. So that's that. Now I'm wondering about this. Oh, I think I like it with just that one. Yeah, just that one there. Yeah, I think I'm there. And then, of course, you make all this ephemera. But I'm not quite sure, Gail, what do you do with the envelope then? Once I've, I've closed it, we'll have another look at it and have a think. What do you do with it? So that's that. Um, do I need anything here? Yay or nay? Don't know. Don't know. Do I need anything there? So just say you had a journal card that would sit in there. You probably don't need too much. You could have a label. Do I want to torment Sherry? Sherry, will I, will I torment you today with a label? Or maybe I'll put a Leonardo da Vinci saying on there. Oh, I like that one. Wisdom is, wisdom is the daughter of experience. I do like that one. I'm going to glue that on there. So I'm not going to torment Sherry at the moment, unless I change my mind with a label. Because I did put many. I had so much fun putting all those labels on my, my Wendy project. <laughs> that was really fun. I just like labels. I I especially I love I love um, Tracy Fox's from Love Junk Journals labels where she's done the writing. But I also love plain labels because they're decorative, but they're also practical. Like you know, you might need to write a date or a place or some sort of information on the label that has some sort of significance. And so I find them, you know, that they're quite functional as well. We'll take that out. Yep, that's it. That's that done. So the inside is done. Okay, so that goes down there. And this should be stuck down now. That tucks in there. So that stays still. And then this will close here. There's no tucking going on here. I probably put too many. Oh, yes, that's good. Got something stuck on there. That closes like that. So that's that. Oh, it's a little bit crooked, Rachel. Good one. Good one. Okay, so that's pretty. Now we need something on the front. So on the front, I think I'll have a sip of coffee first. What a lot of fun, Gail. These are really fun. Really fun. So we can have, that's a bit of something left over from the other day. We need some flowers. Might as well use these. I'm liking these, the pop of colour of these. Um, on this sort of paler um, background. Could have that one over there. Put that one there. I don't know, you've sort of got to jiggle them about a little bit until you sort of get something going that you feel happy with. And sometimes you just don't feel happy with any of it. Sometimes that's just how it works and you have to sort of leave it and come back to it. I did like that one over there. We need a bit of more of a pop. Sure. You know I can audition all day. That's it. I like that more. Now I'm not convinced about that one. Okay, I'll leave that one there. And then I'm going to go to the butterfly. Let's have a little look. That colour's nice. another sheet here. Oh, I've got two sheets. Oh, three sheets. So how many times did I print them out? Mm, I like the colours in that one too. With this, I like all of these butterflies, otherwise I wouldn't have put them in the kit, but um, I'm just trying to see uh, what will work with this project. This could be a two-hour video. Imagine I could decide to make all the ephemera. I'm not going to, don't worry. I won't. I won't do that to you. A 
Okay. So before I cut, you know take up your time cutting up any more butterflies, we'll see if we like this one. It might be too big. It's pretty. It's too big. Could take that away and have it over there. Up there it needs to be. I already tried those two. Well, I think I need to cut out this one. What's the bit I end up cutting them all out? I might just cut that long bit off. Any bits that are annoying to me, I just snip it off. You won't really notice so much when it's stuck down that it's a piece has been snipped off. Oh, I like that colour more. That's it. I'm glad I did that. Glad I made you wait. And I think I prefer that one. There we go. It's done. No labels. I'm not going to torment you. Although a label would look very nice on there. I must say, a label would be just perfect. It would just be the final touch. Honestly, it would be the perfect final touch. However... I'm not going to. Well, I might audition one. I'm thinking, you see, my mind ticks over as I'm gluing and cutting things. Um, things pop into my sight, line of sight, and I and 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 ideas evolve as I'm gluing and cutting and stitching sometimes too. Sometimes things stick to my fingers and they just flop down onto my project and oh that looks nice because it's just meant to be. Now, the other nice thing would have been, and I didn't think about it, would have been to round the corners. I could snip those. Uh, I'd probably do a bit of a bodgy job, but they could be snipped and rounded. I actually don't think I'm going to put a label on there. It is quite nice. It is. I need to go and print some more out. I'm going to do that today, botanical. I don't think I'm going to put a label on there today. Oh, oh, what about here? I didn't do anything on here. Well, I, I could put this butterfly on there. Oh, yes, look at that. I forgot to decorate that. Sorry, guys. We thought we were done, but we're not. Oh, I'm gluing my book page. What a goose. That's my glue. Anyway, don't, don't, don't even think about it. Lulu, what is that noise? Okay, all right, you're forgiven. Oh, I love this gal. What a great project. I highly re recommend everybody make one. Oh, 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 it came off. I lost the antenna this minute. My fingers are sticky. This is the problem. The fingers are sticky. I can't get it off the fingers onto the thing because it, oh, there we go. Stuck at the hand. How about that? Bit of surgery there. Wow, well, I really love that gale now, but I, please tell me, do tell me, what do I do with it now? So can I, I could close that, although no, I wouldn't close that now. Maybe you would just, um, you could, I could open it down the bottom. You could put it in a journal sideways and have it, like maybe just glue it down into a journal and... Or, you know what, cover this and hang it on the edge of a page 
these are my ideas that are coming to me send it as a happy mail that's a super happy mail um, yeah so ideas what do you do with this now it's really great I really love it um, so we've got the writing paper there we've got our it's not so easy to get out oh there we go got our thing I might not tuck it in um, I'll flip up there and we've got our tuck over there and then it closes that's really fun clever chook okay so i hope you enjoyed that i certainly did thank you for suggesting it i'm pretty sure it was sammy i'll see if i can find it in my list and then um write down the correct person who recommended it and um, thank you everybody for watching and putting up with my ramblings and i will see you tomorrow thank you for watching bye